Hello, it's Richard Curtis. And are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Once upon a time, there was this very keen young man, young I say, <laughs> who wanted to share his story with parents all over the world. And then he came up with this idea. He came up with the kid comment. Anyway, <laughs> I want to talk to you about the power of stories. Stories for babies and for infants and for toddlers and for older children hold tremendous importance. First of all, there's cultural reasons why you're going to be telling stories. You know, for me, I'm obviously British, so things like there's a story called Dick Whittington, which is a, a story about a boy going to London to seek his fame and he be, ends up becoming mayor of London. Now, that is a what, what I would say is a cultural story. Now, you may not have heard of it at all, but for me, that's a story, a traditional story that I'm familiar with. So there's the cultural inheritance associated with stories. But likewise, the act of reading a story to your child or telling a story to your child is just as important. Think how inspired your child could be by wanting to make up their own stories. Think about how amazing it would be if your children actually grow up to want to share that love of books and become authors or become artists or become publishers because you have built in that love for books, love of a story. Think about, do you remember when you were little, maybe in the dressing gown, snuggled up in the dressing gown after a bath, snuggled up under your mum's arm or your dad's arm or someone's arm, you know, reading a story with them. Do you remember how that felt? Gosh, that's powerful, isn't it? Remember it. I can remember it. And if, if you haven't experienced it, then you definitely need to make sure that you, your children experience it because that's important. Like with baths, Sharing a story using your voice, using your voice fast and using your voice slow, going up and going down with your voice, all helps teach a young child, a baby, a toddler, how to cope with their emotions. It also teaches lots about language, about phrases, about how to talk to different people, how to react, you're modelling how to react um, in different circumstances. You know, if you're reading a, a story about um, going to a grocery, then actually there'll be speech that tells a child what they're supposed to say. So they learn to say, good morning, good morning, hello, good day, how are you, bye-bye, see you soon. All of those things can be taught through stories. So stories are really powerful for inspiring your child with where they are going to go as they go through their life for so many different reasons. I don't want to make this a long one but there are just so many things that I, I desperately want to tell you about stories. Just remember it is your duty as a parent to breed a love of stories in your children and how inspirational you can be in order to do that. Right guys, with that inspirational word, I'm going bye bye. <laughs>